Hello everyone, my name is Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 2 of Linear Algebra. In today's class, we are going to see what is determinant of a matrix. Okay, in last class we had seen that what is the concept of matrix, what are the different types of matrices and all. And today we are going to see the concept which is determinant. Fine. So under determinant topic, we are going to see that what is determinant okay and what are the uses like why we have to study the determinant right so those things we will be seeing here so determinant is what as the name says that something that determines the nature of something fine so same way determinant of a matrix is the property of the matrix which determines the nature of the matrix okay so determinant for a matrix is nothing but a number okay and that number actually says us many things for a square matrix only okay we can find the determinant so the matrix should be square matrix so that find the determinant and what is square matrix and all we have discussed in last class fine so the number of rows and number of columns of any matrix is same then we call that matrix as square matrix Okay, so the example of a square matrix is what you can say that one cross one matrix is the square matrix where one is the number of rows, second is this one is the number of columns. Similarly, two cross two, three cross three, these all things are nothing but the square matrix. Fine, that means for a rectangular matrix, we are not going to find the determinant of the matrix. Okay, now we have to understand that why we have to study determinant, what is the use of this determinant fine determinant actually says us that whether the inverse of a square matrix exists or not and how do we denote the determinant if we have given some name as a for a matrix so we say that the matrix a between two straight lines this is nothing but the determinant of matrix okay so this is determinant of the matrix or sometimes we write determinant is this fashion also okay so if determinant is zero fine if this determinant is zero of a matrix so we call this matrix as singular matrix even this concept also we have seen in last class if the matrix the if the determinant of matrix is not equal to zero then we call that this matrix is non-singular matrix fine for a non-singular square matrix inverse exists so inverse and all those things we are going to see in coming classes here we have just seen the use one of those uses of determinant now we are going to see how to find determinant of a square matrix so very first type is what if the matrix is one cross one matrix because we know that matrices are the square matrices so for the one cross one matrix what could be the example of this matrix this is your one cross one matrix only one row is there and only one column is there this is one cross one matrix fine we know that how many numbers of element will be present in any matrix number of rows into number of column will be total number of element present in the matrix so one row and one column so only one element will be present if the matrix has only one element so determinant will be same don't get confused that determinant will always be positive or maybe this is a sign of modulus or something determinant can be negative also suppose a is the matrix where the matrix is having element minus 1 so the determinant will be minus 1 okay so determinant can be 0 negative positive anything okay now we are going to see to find the determinant for a 2 cross 2 matrix so this is the general form of 2 cross 2 matrix right so how many elements will be present in 2 cross 2 matrix there you have to multiply 2 with 2 so it will be 4 so total 4 elements will be there there are 4 elements this is the example of 2 cross 2 matrix fine now if i have to find the determinant of 2 cross 2 matrix how i have to find it so for that what i'm going to do diagonally i'm going to multiply 1 and 4 okay that means 1 into 4 and then this is the minus sign i'm putting okay so what is actually happening i'm just going into this direction okay i'm going into this direction so this is 1 into 4 minus 3 into 2 okay minus 3 into 2 this will be 4 minus 6 it is minus 2 yeah 
so determinant is negative determinant is minus 2 so for 2 cross 2 matrix finding the determinant is very easy what i am going to do i am just going into this direction okay so in that way what is happening i am multiplying these two things and then minus sign i am putting in the like this direction is nothing but the negative sign and then multiplying c and d and then i am getting the answer okay now i am going to see that what is the determinant for a 3 cross 3 matrix okay so what is the example of 3 cross 3 matrix i can say that this is your uh, uh, a b c fine so this matrix is nothing but a b c fine and then d e f g h and then i fine so this is the matrix 3 cross 3 the general form of matrix i am just writing down here and then i have to find the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix so how to find it so to find the determinant here it is written but how i am doing it okay so for that what we are going to do we are just taking the very first row we are just taking the very first row you can take any of these rows but for simplicity always make your habit to just uh, to just consider the very first row okay so i have considered the first element of first row that is my a okay and then what i am going to do if i have taken this element so i am just imagining that i am not considering this complete uh, column and this complete row so which all elements are remaining these four elements are remaining if i have considered the very first element of my first row i am actually discarding all elements of first row and all elements of first column so fine so these things are there now what i have to do i am just moving in the same direction what we had discussed right fine that means this a is there now i am multiplying a with what i am a i am multiplying a with e into i okay and then minus f into h okay now after that what i am going to do here i am going to put the minus sign and then i am going to consider the second element so this is g correct no this is g okay so that means what i am going to do i am going to consider the second element of my first row and with negative sign okay and then if i have considered this element so i am going to discard all elements which are present in this row and all elements which are present in this column okay so that means what i am considering only these four elements i am considering and then i am going to actually visualize that i am again moving in this direction fine and then in that fashion what will happen i am going to multiply d with i with negative sign with negative sign i am writing down g into f fine now in the 3 cross 3 matrix what element is remaining so for that only c is remaining in your first row so i am writing down c here with plus sign that means this element will have the positive sign this element will have the negative sign this element will have the positive sign that means what i am doing i am writing down the sign in alternative way plus minus plus only three columns are there fine okay so if i have written down c here then what i am going to do i am going to discard all elements under this row i am going to discard all elements under this column so only four these four elements are there i am moving in this direction and then fine that means i am writing down d into h minus g into e fine and if i have calculated everything so what number has come that number is only the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix okay so same thing is written here fine so we are going to see the example so this example you can actually solve yourself before seeing the solution what i am writing down here i am going to consider the very first row for simplicity i am going to write 6 here and then 6 if i have written down so i am discarding these all elements i am moving in this direction fine that means minus 2 into 7 and then minus right this is the minus sign and then 8 into 5 okay now the second element i am going to consider of my first row so second element is this one so this i have said that this has the positive sign this has the negative sign this has the positive sign so this minus i am going to write minus one okay now if i have considered this one so i am discarding all elements of your first row all elements of your uh, second column okay so that means these four elements are there i am moving in this direction so i am going to write down 
4 into 7, right? And then minus sign and then 2 into 5, okay? Now, after that, what I am going to do? Now, this carries the positive sign, so it is plus 1 again. Now, if I have considered the third element of your uh, row, so what I am going to do? I am going to discard all those elements of this row, all those elements of this column. Okay, so only these four are there and moving direction is this way. That means 4 into 8 and then minus, this is 2 into minus 2, 2 into minus 2. Okay, so what is the answer? So 6 is there, minus 14, minus 40 and then minus 1, then 28 minus 10, then plus 1 is there, then then 32 plus 4. Okay, so that means this is your 6 into minus 54. That is okay. Minus 1 into 18. Fine. And then plus 1 into 36. Fine. So negative. This answer is also negative. So this is the determinant of this matrix of 3 cross 3. Okay. So sometimes a student find this method very lengthy. So for that we have one shortcut method also to find the determinant of 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, so what is the shortcut method? So this is the example of a matrix. Okay, so what is the trick here? The trick is write down all elements twice. Okay, so this is A, B, C. The complete matrix I have written down A, B, C, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z. Right, so this complete thing is written till here. Okay, after that what I am going to do? I am again writing down the matrix here. Okay, so writing down all elements of matrix twice and then just putting this way of movement. So diagonally actually I am going from here here. So this way I have to do the multiplication basically and then similarly we are going to move in this we are going to see the uh, example so that it will be more clear. Okay. So what actually has to be done? So we are going to multiply A Q Z then plus sign. Okay. Then plus sign C P Y and then this is what minus a r y in this direction right the reverse direction then minus b p z okay and then minus c q x okay so this will be whatever it has come this will be your answer so we are going to find the determinant of same matrix which we have seen just now okay so same example i am writing down here okay fine so i have written down the same matrix here fine now we are going to find the answer using shortcut method so shortcut method says that you just i'm writing down here write down the matrix all those elements twice so 6 1 1 4 minus 2 5 2 8 7 is the matrix 6 1 1 4 minus 2 5 2 8 7 fine now what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply these elements together then these elements together then these elements together Okay, so from the very first element, just make the line, right? So that means what I'm going to do, 6 into minus 2 into 7, okay? Then plus 1 into 5 into 2, fine, no? Then plus 1 into 4 into 8, and then with minus sign, very first element only, right? This was the very first element from where I started. Now again, from the very first element of uh, the matrix, right? I'm going to start here also, just make the straight line, okay? Now, what you are going to do here? Now, you are going to multiply this 6 into 5 into 8. Okay, then with minus sign, you are going to write 1 into 4 into 7. 1 into 4 into 7. Then with minus sign, 1 into minus 2 into 2. Okay, what you are going to get answer? 42 into minus 2. Fine, no. So, that means minus 84 plus, plus, this is 10 plus this is 32 fine now with minus sign what i am writing down here 6 5 30 into 8 240 minus minus 28 right then minus and this minus will be plus 4 okay so that means this is nothing but this is your minus 84 this is minus 28 fine no so this is minus 352 and then plus these all things that means 42 right plus 4 so this is your 46 what is the answer so the answer is the answer is minus 306
yes minus 306 right now the same answer we have got here also so totally depends on you how you are solving this uh, matrix what actually we are doing here okay so we are writing down the matrix twice from the very first element we are just drawing the straight line okay so diagonal line so thrice i have to draw it and similarly the repeated matrix started from here now from the very first element you go into the reverse direction and then you just multiply these all elements which is coming under this way and then put the appropriate sign plus and then for reverse it will be minus so whichever way you find easy so mainly we have to deal with 3 cross 3 matrix only but what if the matrices are 4 cross 4, 5 cross 5, 6 cross 6 and so on basically we use calculator if we really need uh, calculation otherwise what is the concept we are just going to see for the 4 cross matrix or even for the higher matrices what we are going to do so the matrix will be what so this way the matrix is nothing but for 4 cross 4 matrix this is the general form so this is the general form of a 4 cross 4 matrix so what we write down we write down we assign the plus sign for this element we assign minus sign we assign plus sign we assign minus sign so as you can see here also positive this is negative this is positive this is negative and then put the and then just consider the very first row so for the first element of first row you have just taken this element and now you are discarding all elements present in the first row discarding all elements which is present in the first column so remaining all these elements that means you are going to actually find the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix fine similarly if you are considering this second element so you are discarding this way so you are going to write down the matrix in this fashion the matrix will be 3 cross 3 so here you have to find the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix and then multiply with b and similarly you are going to do with c also you are going to do with d also with appropriate minus or plus sign so this way we find the uh, the determinant of 4 cross 4 matrix even for higher matrices the same trick will go on you are going to just add another row another column with appropriate sign and so on but we generally don't use 4 cross 4 matrices 5 cross 5 matrices and so on for finding determinant because too much of calculation will be required so for that we take help of calculator and all right so this is the concept of determinant so if you find the class useful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.